Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. But that doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it anyway. So, is there even like a warning being broadcast to any approaching ships that, hey, if you enter this zone, you will be fired upon by a bunch of missiles? Because, I, I honestly, I, I hesitate to even assume that that much was thought of by Wayland yutani And we might want to get some kind of broadcast up just so that we don't have a bunch more ships crashing down on the planet. Anyway, you are now on the USS Otago. The Okay, controller, come on. Honestly, probably for the best that I know it has that pause prompt because if this thing were to go out at a bad moment, that could be really bad if it didn't pause because some games still don't. Anyway, you are now on the USS Otago. The Otago crashed after the activation of the Cerberus Protocol. It will be used as an operational base for your Marines between each deployment. Can't deploy. Go to the med bay to unlock deployment. Check your med the medical report in the med bay. Okay, so it's going to just sort of guide me around the ship. Well, I guess it's slightly better than listening to the intercom lady from XCOM. I'm Administrator Hayes. I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. So, that part of the ship got torn open, and they were probably exposed to vacuum not a great way to go you can assign a physician to a wounded marine to speed up the healing process for each physician assigned to a wounded marine the recovery period is reduced by one day this one's a priority to hold understood we don't seem to have anything else in here that we can do right now Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. 
Okay, so we have at least some fabrication ability. That's honestly kind of surprising for uh, a ship. The Otago, I mean, I guess it's fairly big, but it didn't look like a, like a cruiser or battleship class. But I don't know. I, I suppose, honestly, you probably need at least some amount of fabrication capability. Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. Okay, so I probably... So it's just weapon purchased. I don't need to... It looks then like I don't necessarily need to build individual rifles like I do in XCOM. It seems like I just need to unlock the weapon type and then I can... It's just... It's available as many as I want to use. At least that's what it's looking like right now. Smart requires a level 3 gunner. So do I need that to be able to purchase it? Or no? Or do I just need more resources? Because right now I don't... It looks like I only have 50 of whatever that resource is and I need 100. So do I also need a level 3 gunner to make it? Or do I need a level 3 gunner to actually like be able to use the weapon? Not sure yet. That one requires a level six marine. So like just different ammo bursts, burst duration, clip size, reload duration, and of course damage. And the service pistol. So the revolver does more damage, but it fires slower and it doesn't have as much ammo per clip. And the submachine gun, which does has much quicker firing rate in a two round burst and obviously a larger clip, but it doesn't have the best damage. And then special weapons, we've got the shotgun, which we've already seen in action. It did a pretty good job. The incinerator unit flamethrower. I need one in my life. Ideally multiple. So its range is even a little bit shorter than the shotgun. But... Obviously, I don't know. It seems like in every Aliens movie or game I've seen, fire does a pretty good job against these dang things. So I at least want to try it out. We've also got mines, which I would need to be careful with. I, I don't know. Like, I guess you could like set traps and things if you knew you were about to kick something off and hopefully not blow yourself up. That, that's what I would worry about. Ooh, rocket launcher. Could also be good. And sniper rifle. So recon, marine, and gunner are the classes I've seen referenced here. I don't know if those are the only three or not. I guess we'll find out. Back to the labs. Administrator Hayes. I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides True, but in this kind of crisis situa situation, we kind of need them. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. 
Stace. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. This is Sheriff Sousa. Ed Hill Johnson. They're, they're killing everyone. We need help. Bells, fire, two copy. Oh, no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes. Which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lay the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. So we're trying to stitch together a uh, chain of command. Investigate the Dead Hills Colony and search for any survivors. So the Otaka repair, I guess, is part of the overall campaign progress. A And let's see what else is here. You can access the deployment panel from the command deck. Select the launch mission button. So I guess I can't really do anything else yet. I'm still very much in the tutorial. This is a representation of the planet Lethe. All available missions will be displayed on this panel. Select the Dead Hills Colony to access the mission. So... There could be multiple available at later points. This honestly reminds me a little bit of StarCraft, this particular screen. But... Once you've selected a mission, the information panel displays the following information about the location. Number of primary objectives to be completed. Number of data pads in the mission that need recovering. The number of materials in the mission that need recovering. And the amount of Xenotech in the mission that needs recovering. So... 14 primary objectives, 19 data pads, 300 materials, and two Xenotech. If I'm reading that properly. Understood. Uploading mission data. Mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready Who for a firefight. Names their town Dead Hills. Tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Well, don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burg. On it. Roger. Access the terminal. Administrator, did we receive anything more from Sheriff Souza? Not a word. 
So I guess the ARC has some guns on it too that we can fall back to if we need to do that. And I also noticed that in the top right we have an indicator that says undetected, no hive activity. That's probably going to change, but for now at least, we are going to take it slow and quiet. Don't get too comfy, okay? Door's locked. Run a bypass. Let's get in there. Copy. Marines will encounter locked doors. I mean, every Marine class is able to unlock locked doors. Locked doors always have a terminal near them to bypass the door security. So, interact with the terminal. There we go. Use the unlock interaction. Yep, yep, yep. Do I need to use tools or anything for that? Or does it just... Okay, it seems like it just takes time, then. Okay, so yeah, don't don't weld the door. Come just on, go through the door. Hey, Harper. No sign of movement from up here. Do you see anything? Not a soul. Place is a real ghost town. Don't you worry, Nun Sarge. You've got a squad of big, strong Marines to keep you safe. Okay, so there's like a little progress bar, and I can interrupt it if things were to go bad. And so, okay, maybe I that's an indicator too. I probably shouldn't like start out bringing four tools and four med kits. Then I should maybe only bring two or three of each, or you know, just a little bit under capacity, because I just found more tools there, and I doubt that it would let me pick up more than the maximum capacity. Move no on. motion so far. <laughs> so yeah, it's just reminding me about the flashlight. And oh yeah, okay, yeah. It actually it kind of paints every all of the interactable stuff in a white outline. So that's on nice. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I got more tools. Okay, let's. What have we got? Here? Satellite communications access looks intact, which is more than can be said for the operator. No answers here. Looks like he killed himself. Guy must have hated his job. Don't we all? If you're done, how about getting me plugged in? Okay, so we need to establish a link between the Otago and this satellite oh link. And while he's doing that, so while one marine, I can have another one like sweep with the flashlight and things, so I can be doing multiple things at once potentially. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Link established. Mm. Looks like someone put the colony on lockdown. You know how long it'll take to burn through every door in the complex. If you can get to the township HQ, you should be able to shut off emergency status. That'll open up the doors. I can also scan for the settlers' personal data transmitters from there. Okay, squad, you heard the lady. We'll get this door unwelded and continue our path towards the colony headquarters. Door open. Move on.
It's quiet. Too quiet. Don't get too comfy, okay? Come on, team! Trust me, I am anything but getting through here. Looks like someone wasn't taking any. Okay, so we got cover there. Use C4 to clear the wreckage. Oh, that's totally not gonna make a bunch of noise and you know, tick off a bunch of things. So, the colonists have barricaded themselves in. Any Marine can plant C4 to join barricades. Doing so costs one ammo clip. C4. Get down! It's gonna blow! Move! Move! Should I, uh, perhaps be moving away? Well, I don't know we're here now. Reminds me of? We don't know it was those creatures. Could be an uprising, could be anything. Stay frosty, Marines. Come on, team! Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, so that is not an interactable door. That is just completely blocked off. It's not locked. There's no ter terminal or anything that I can bypass with that. So back in the direction I guess we should be going. Although I guess not every objective is going to be like marked on the map because i currently i currently don't have an indicator i don't think let me you know check our map okay we got like a red exclamation point there but i'm not seeing like a map wind to tell me what that is Oh, no. Stay frosty, Marines. That's locations. I was hoping that maybe we had a map legend. Or... Maybe you just need to do that. Oh! Spawn point! Wonderful! Okay. Noted. I'm still not, I'm honestly at this point not sure if it's a frame rate problem or if there are just some weird jitters here, but it's still not feeling very great. So let's take, I don't think Folio is just having much of an effect on this scene. Let's take the effects down. Maybe it's the sparks and stuff that are causing problems though you know, let's take those down to high and see if that because i mean and when i hit auto like it put everything to max and but there's just this weird jitteriness to it let's see if that helps okay maybe a little stay frosty marines What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of skin. Did they not teach you about biohazards in the USCM? Don't touch it! Jesus, what are you doing? You done. Good. Marines, 
There's something in here with us. It doesn't take a genius to guess at what. Stay sharp. Yeah, no, it's still honestly kind of... Come on, team! Don't get too comfy, okay? I think some of the graphics way down then, and we're gonna see if any of it helps. Uh, I mean, it it keeps like what it's weird because it keeps feeling like it's kind of helping when I'm first coming out of the menu. And then, like, after, you know, I start moving around a little bit, it stops feeling so smooth. So, on, I don't know. Took it down a fair bit that time. See if it keeps feeling okay. Don't get too comfy, okay? Right, and that was a either a double back or a circle. Stay frosty, Marines. So, we've pretty thoroughly explored this bit. So, I guess... We're gonna go check out... Some of these areas over here where we've not been yet. Looks like we've got another barricade there, but I'd really, really rather not go blowing up even more things. So let's go see what's over there. Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, now it actually seems to be staying fairly smooth, so... It's quiet. Too quiet. I don't know. Personally, I'm not noticing too much difference in the visual quality myself, but... Stay frosty, Marines. Move on! It's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, that looks like an elevator there, so that's probably a way to the second floor. And yeah, there's that, there's that barricade, so it looks like, you know, sometimes at least you can find ways around them. Okay, 
so yeah now we have that elevator marked on the map can we go in any of these other doors it looked like most of them were yeah that one's just blocked right now so some of these will probably open up when we find the headquarters Guys, I have a bad feeling about that. Come on, you've watched too many movies. It was built by the way you. It'll hold. Get upstairs. On it. Get out of here, now! And there went the elevator. What the hell just happened? Lift's fracked. Nearly took us with it. We'll need another way out. Told you. Frickin' told you. So now we're trapped and looking for a way out. Wonderful. So presumably through that door after we unlock it. You're at the HQ. You should be able to deactivate lockdown. Roger. Okay, so we've got a terminal over there. Affirmative. I'm gonna search first, I think. Okay, inventory's full, so I can't loot. Nothing. So they don't always have. Ooh, med kit. Good. It's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, I know. Let's, you know, just take a look at this room and Come everything on, before we Copy. hit the button, shall we? It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, and then we've got another locked door here, so... Can't go any further without hitting the button. Move! Move! Okay, there's a data pad hey, there. I found something. Looks like a data pad. Okay. Oh, hold. Back down. From Operations Clerk Jim DeCosta to Joseph. Clarence just came in to open up the old mine. Had to bend a few rules and tell a couple of white lies to get it, but it'll be worth it in the end, right? You and me, we're going to bring hope back to Dead Hills. Thanks again for trusting me with this. I won't let you down. Who wants to bet that they found some very angry xenomorphs in said mine? Deactivating now. Let's hope this works. Okay, now let's check out the colonist's personal data transmitters. For that, I'll need the sector map. Go ahead and find it. Move on! Roger. Accessing terminal. Uh, guys, what the rest of you may be like to... <laughs> okay, sometimes when you tell them to interact, you have to remember that it's only sending one person up, not the whole... 
Sector maps allow the squad to uncover the map of a sector. At the cost of one tool, you can reveal the layout of the selected floor. Select, press the reveal this floor button to show the map. You can change the floor that is displayed by using the floor selection panel on the left-hand side of the screen. Select the first floor. Okay, how do I do that on? Why? Okay. Select the reveal floor button to reveal the map of the first floor. We've already discovered a good chunk of the first floor. I mean, I guess not all of the buildings, but all right, fine game. Back what button. have we got, I'm reading six, uh, no, seven signals with vitals. Wait, <laughs> one's right inside the room. Hey, you in the locker. My trigger finger's itching, so come out. But come out friendly-like, yeah? Don't shoot, don't shoot. I, I just don't feel so good. Calm down, we're not going to hurt you. What happened here? It got me. It got me like the others. It got him? What does he mean? All right, settle him down. Something... I had something on my face, and then... What the hell? Yeah, there we go. Cease fire! Cease fire! Screw that! I'm out! He said something latched onto his face. I've seen that. It's what happened to McDonald and the others on Pioneer. I... I think these creatures use us as incubators. What the hell are you talking about? The creatures on Pioneer. The thing we just saw, they're the same. One gross than the other. They're... That's probably why we found that skin down there. So we could be seeing a lot more of them here? How many? How what many the people were there? The I'd start there and hope for better. Shit, man. I don't like that. Great. That's just great. Securing from emergency lockdown. In five, four, three, two, one. South door is open. Stay alert, Marines. These things can attack us from every direction now. 